Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Whew, here we are. Now we're going to be working on the GUI as usual. Uh, we're going to further optimize this because the way we have it right now is that we have one main GUI tabs class and then we have separate tab classes for each of the tabs that we want. But I want to optimize the player GUI tabs class by adding a vector of tabs here instead of hard coding in the character tabs and all that stuff. So let's get right to it. Let's go ahead and do SF vector or STD, sorry, STD vector like that with a small V. And we want to do a tab pointer here. And we want to do a tabs a name for that tabs now we have a vector of tabs now we'll do something daring we'll remove the character tab completely here and we'll start working with this obviously now to access the tabs we're gonna have to add them in a specific order so to access them later on I want to create an enum called player tabs like that very simple player tabs enum and we're gonna say character tab and then equal to zero. And we might have a inventory tab, which will then be one. We have to follow this now strictly and it will be easy for us if we keep, keep a certain structure to this. We have a init key time here, but we don't have a init, init tabs function. I'm going to go ahead and add that. And this is where we're going to add all our tabs since right now I'm adding them in the constructor itself. Once you have your init tabs defined or declared in the player GUI tabs.h file, open up your CPP files for player GUI tabs and look at what's going on here. You'll have a lot of red stuff, but don't worry about it. We'll control X this like that. And remember, our VM font and player are set already, so we don't have to send them into our init function. All we have to do is just do this and say this tabs dot pushback new character tab like that. So we'll add the first character tab. Very simple. That's the first one. And then it will be easier for us to access using the character tab equals zero here. I'll say it again, the order is very important here so we can use our enums later on to access these. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we'll push it back. Remember to call this here as well, this init tabs like that and it will be initialized. Now we don't have to worry about too much else. Just remove that comma right there. You won't have any errors. Let's go to the next red spot here. Uh, we're returning the character tabs get open. Tabs open. This won't really do anything we'll we'll loop through so what this is going to do is going to loop through tabs and check and check if any are open that's what this is going to do we'll get to that in a bit the toggle character tab is a little different now what i want to do here is i want to go ahead and do a int const int uh, tab which tab we should do tab index even so it's very very clear now let's go ahead into the whole header file and put that in there remove the character part from the name and just say toggle tab and the difference here is going to be we're going to go ahead and go do this this tabs at position tab index dot toggle sorry toggle there we go. And we're going to create that toggle function. So don't worry. Remove that. And let's see if this tab. No, I don't need to do that. I can do this actually. There we go. We need to check if the tab index is if tab index is greater than zero or tab index is less than this tabs dot size then we'll go ahead and do this. Otherwise, we will not toggle anything. Make sure your tab indexes and all the indexes are, are, are right. 
equal to greater or equal to good before i forget let's go ahead and add the toggle function as well that would be in the tabs.h and the tabs.cpp file go to your tabs.h first and you'll see we have a get hidden get open let's go ahead and do a void toggle here and don't put it to const we need our we need to change values in here so we can't put it to const what we're going to do in here is we're going to say if this hidden this hidden equals false else this hidden equals true very simple so we'll toggle it depending on what's going on no issues there and then we can hide and we can show toggle is great because you can it doesn't matter what it is it will just switch it over good once that's done your toggle function should be working uh, of course our swaggy little tabs open here needs to be checked anyway let's go ahead and do this update um, and we want to be able to update the current tab that is open all right now if our active tab to find the active tab we're gonna have to go ahead and do a little if statement for loop so for loop tabs all our tabs or this tabs dot size boom and we can further optimize this later but for now let's keep it like this this tabs and then update like this uh, this tabs at position i update of course we need to check if this tabs at position i is or get hidden or we can even do get open like that so we'll check if it is open and then we'll update only those that are open and the same thing for the render the only difference here is going to be render to target like that and we'll just render all the tabs that are open and we'll only be able to have one tab open at a time most probably we'll look into how we'll handle that it's not a big deal uh, here it's going to be to just check if any of the tabs are open so i'm going to control v the whole thingy majingy here i'll make a little boolean or uh, just throw a little bool bool open equals false get open if any of the tabs are open i will do open equal true and i'll return open the only thing here is we need to break this. so I'm gonna add a little condition here in the for loop and I'm just gonna say while open is false so because as soon as we find something that's open we don't want to keep looping we just want to break out of that so it's a very simple check to check if any of the tabs are open very good now we have a working we don't see any more errors here we have a working tabs function that is functionality is a little more dynamic here once you're done with that we're gonna of course have to change a few things game state.cpp here we go and we'll we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go down at the open or we can run it and see if it's actually working if it's not boom we'll go to our errors and we'll see what's going on errors okay we need a semicolon here then we need to go to our toggle character tabs and just say toggle tab uh player tabs character tab run that we should have a working tab switch just like we had before just like we had before and that is amazing now we have some data we can see what's going on and it's live update as well you can see the xp is going up as we're killing these enemies and that's very nice beautiful the next thing we're going to focus on is we're going to go ahead into our game state and just check for any attack function now we have a get attack here we're updating the combat for our player so the way this is working right now it's set up to work with my little for loop hacks fix here for update combat so i'm updating the combat for each enemy and we're checking the weapons attack timer for each enemy and the issue is if you restart it here the next enemy in the in the uh, array won't be checked against it if i do this any other way so i'm up to to explain this probably gonna do it in the next video we're gonna try to fix this somehow and make sure we can uh, make it more like a real game.
where you can't just only attack when you click on an enemy. So we're going to fix that. We're going to work with this. But for now, guys, that will be it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully your player GUI tab is more dynamic now. Uh, we can add more tabs easily. We'll go from here. We'll see what we can do. But thanks for watching. Take care. Subscribe. Drop a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Right? Bye-bye.